So I had a whole list of garage sales I was going to this day and I ended up stumbling upon a community sale. I was just about to drive past this one, but I'm glad that I stopped because they had a lot of great stuff. So one thing I'm always buying is Revereware pots and pans. This was a five quart 1801 for $3. There was a little dent on the lid, but I just so happened to have a whole box of lids at the house. And at $3, I should be able to sell this for anywhere from 18 to 25 plus shipping. Also found this Schmidt beer pitcher for $2. I personally wouldn't sell these online. Kind of slow sellers. I put it in my vintage booth in town. And I get around $10 to $12 for that. Here's something that I actually really enjoy reselling. They have this whole box of vintage pin back buttons for 25 cents each. I can list anywhere from like 20 to 25 of these in an hour and they're super easy to ship. I actually just sold this exact same one on eBay for $4.50 plus shipping. So I knew there was some money to be made here. I didn't even realize it until I got home, but this one as well as the purple one are both Lisa Frank pin back buttons from 1980. The purple one last sold for $12 and $16. I'm going to ask $20 for each of them. I've actually never found Lisa Frank stuff before, so I was super pumped about that. I saw this other box had some Dick Tracy stuff in here as well as Harley Davidson. There was also in the bottom of the box, there was this Woodstock keychain. I thought that was pretty cool. Instead of paying $0.25 cents each, I'm going to see if I can get a deal on all of this. Are these all the little bunt pin bags you got? Would yeah, you want? Pretty much, I think. Would you want to do maybe a little deal if I just bought them all from you? Yeah, absolutely. What you thinking? Mm, I don't know how many in here. Let's see here. Is. I would say like, say like five bucks. I'll do four. Do four? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll do five. Okay, we'll do, do five. five. I'm all right. Five, let's do five. <laughs> I, I was first thinking five, but yeah, let's do five. Another thing you probably heard me talk about before is I buy CDs for my vintage booth in town and they're asking 50 cents each for these. There's pretty good stuff in here, I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time for CDs, I'll get anywhere from 50 cents up to $5. A lot of times I buy big bundles like this and I'll have stuff in here that I've never heard of before. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing and see if I can get a deal on all of this. But typically whenever I buy CDs from garage sales, I'm paying like 25 cents a piece for them. So let's see if you want to do something again if I get a whole oh, bunch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So all, all these right here, I don't know how many there are. You can count them if you want, plus this whole stack right here. Okay, and I'll throw in a free box. Sure. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you had how many right there? 25. 25, I like so 50. 50 at 50 cents a piece would be 25, 25. so 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Mm. Well, that's like 40 cents a piece. Yeah. Right, roughly? Yeah. How about, what about, about 15? All right, let's do it. I feel more comfortable right there. Some of these I'm not really so sure of. So. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you're making me some room here too, so I'm exactly, much obliged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep looking around. I made a really dumb mistake right here. There's this whole box of Black Hat fireworks. I really wanted to buy them all for myself, but unfortunately I got sidetracked and forgot all about it. Do you ever do that? Basically what happened was they said there were some beer advertising mirrors over here. This Miller beer one was only priced at a dollar, so I definitely picked that up. It's also a Heineken one for the same price and you just can't get much cheaper than that. Here's something you definitely don't find every day. Check out this Crocus band t-shirt. There were two of these that sold last year for $190 and $200. Then there was one the year before that sold for around $100. This one did feel a little thin because it was really old and it did have some paint spots on the front. But for $10, I've got to pick this up. What do you think I'll get for it? That's a cool shirt right there. I don't see that That's every day. vintage. Yeah. I, went to I like that, vintage. I went to that concert and bought it. <laughs> Oh, really? 1983, maybe? Oh, wow. Because I have another one that says World Tour 83, 84. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah. You got any other vintage shirts like that? Uh, Not concert ones. I mean, I do, but I was going to keep them. Yeah. They're more modern ones. Oh, cool. Micro machines. I think they started remaking these now. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I think two dollars is almost too cheap on them, but I'd just rather get rid of them. And I bought yeah, them because cool, I'm yeah. a fifties and sixties kind of guy and everything, you know. Right, yeah. He also had these matchbox originals. He just pulled all this stuff out. He was asking a dollar each for these. They don't sell for a whole lot. I'll probably get around six dollars, maybe nine dollars in my booth. I started digging around this box of toy cars and I ended up finding my very first red line hot wheel car. I look for these all the time and I've never found one. This one in good shape is probably about a sixty to seventy dollar car. This one's in pretty rough shape. It may be worth something, but I'm just going to pick it up for my own collection. Excuse me. I also picked up a few shirts. This one, I'm not so sure what it's worth, mm -hmm. but it's definitely cool. It had a bunch of Ford trucks all over it. It was actually a single stitch shirt. I got it for $2. This one, I'm not so sure if it was a good buy because I know nothing about sports, but this was a Minnesota Vikings John Randall t-shirt. It was only a dollar. I'm sure I could get probably $15 for it, so I don't think it's a total loss. And I also found this shirt. It was a single stitch as well. I'm not so sure the value of this. It looked like the graphic on the front was a little crooked but it's just the way that it was folded up it looks like it was in a little bit of a worn condition but for just a dollar i think there's some decent money to be made so i definitely picked it up you know you gave me good deals on everything so oh, well thank you two dollars extra oh seriously yeah that's it <laughs> thank you and you're you're a good company for a little while too <laughs> well you are too uh, man. You. you got these mirrors oh you got all that stuff okay yeah. and then your cds yeah all right appreciate you sometimes when you least expect it you show up to just the right garage sale